in the mountains of Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina, there's a natural treasure little known, the Andean forests. They are home to hundreds of unique animal and plant species in the world, such as the intimpa, a beautiful tree native to Peru, the black-breasted hummingbird of Ecuador, the magnolia of Colombia, and me, the Andean bear, or as many people know me, the spectacle bear. The ecosystems to which I belong cover 31 million hectares that are spread across different areas of the Andes. Not only do I depend on them, but also about 60 million people. That's twice the population of Peru, who take advantage of the goods and services of the forest directly or indirectly. The Andean forest landscape provides water, energy, food, wood, medicine, recreation, protection against landslides and much more. It allows many people living near them to have an income and work, to be able to support their families and have a better quality of life. Andean forests help to balance the water cycles as they attract the mist and capture millions of drops through the branches and leaves of their trees and filter them to the ground. As a result, those living in cities can have potable water in their homes and farmers and stock breeders have the means to produce food for millions of people. In addition, their soils are a large reservoir of carbon. In fact, they can capture and store up to 120 tons per hectare. This is good news in mitigating climate change. I'm sure you didn't know this. Can you imagine what would happen if the Indian forest did not exist? In the absence of forests, which prevent soil erosion and function as barriers due to the deep roots, natural disasters such as landfalls, landslides and floods may occur, which will be more intense and frequent in the future due to the climate change. That is why today, more than ever, it is important that you and many people learn more about the Indian forests and the benefits they give us. Only then can we value them as they deserve. Today, due to the advance of crops and livestock activity, forest fires, deforestation and the impacts of climate change, there remain only between 5 to 10 percent of what was once its original extension. Their level of degradation does not allow them to recover at the rate they should. Look towards the mountains with me. Recognize how much you need them and value them so that together we can conserve them.